Gary Lineker has shut down the claims as the presenter took to social media and said he hated to disappoint the haters. It comes after two other BBC presenters including Jeremy Vine and Rylan Clark also denied the allegations. The BBC has since said that the presenter in question is not scheduled to be on air in the next few days but the corporation is understood to be looking into the claims. Taking to his Twitter account this evening, the match of the day presenter told his followers, hate to disappoint the haters but it's not me. On Friday, reports emerged a BBC presenter allegedly paid a teenager more than £35,000 for sexually explicit pictures. Jeremy Vine denies being BBC host accused of paying teenager for explicit photos it was claimed an unnamed star at the national broadcaster has been accused of handing over cash sums in return for explicit images from a teenager when they were 17 years old. On Friday, a young person's family member accused an unnamed BBC presenter of making several payments over the past three years to the person in question in exchange for photographs. Speaking to The Sun, she blamed the man for destroying my child's life, as she claimed the money handed to the alleged recipient was used to fuel their crack cocaine addiction. She alleged, there were huge sums, hundreds, or thousands of pounds at a time. One time he had sent 5,000 pounds in one lump. The money had been in exchange for sexually explicit photographs of my child. Don't miss! Rylan furiously denies has axed BBC star who paid Dean for explicit photos, latest, Victoria Beckham's daughter Harper donned silk dress as she marks milestone, pictures, Fern Britain on friendship with Philip Schofield after this morning exit, interview, when asked to comment on the allegations, a BBC spokesperson told Express. Co.uk, we treat any allegations very seriously and we have processes in place to proactively deal with them. As part of that, if we receive information that requires further investigation or examination we will take steps to do this. That includes actively attempting to speak to those who have contacted us in order to seek further detail and understanding of the situation. If we get no reply to our attempts or receive no further contact that can limit our ability to progress things but it does not mean our inquiries stop. If, at any point, new information comes to light or is provided, including via newspapers, this will be acted upon appropriately, in line with internal processes. Gary's tweet comes after Jeremy Vine also tweeted his denial, saying, just to say I'm very much looking forward to hosting my radio show on Monday, whoever the BBC presenter in the news is, I have the same message for you as Ryland did earlier, it certainly ain't me. Ryland Clark previously tweeted, not sure why my name's floating about but read that story in the sun. That ain't me babe. I'm currently filming a show in Italy for the BBC, so take my name out your mouths. Sick, 